finish the plea agreement. Jack, can you describe what it was like standing up there at the judge's bench as Donnie's family was trying to, you know, wrap their heads around this awful situation that it's been for them? Yeah, it's it's really emotionally heartbreaking. Um, Mr. Skiff couldn't even speak. He tried to. He was overwhelmed, and Donnie's sister did speak. But you know, clearly, it was it was very upsetting for them and for everyone in the courtroom, because it was the first time that someone was taking responsibility for the death of Donnie. And as they said, he was a great guy. He would give anyone the shirt off his back. He touched the lives of so many people. So, it, it was it was very difficult for them. How you know? how 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 good is it that we've come to an agreement this way? Right? We're very pleased. Uh, we've worked very hard. The Pennsylvania State Police have worked hour after hour on this case. If you remember back to when Donnie went missing, um, there was so much publicity because so many people were trying to find him and they couldn't. And uh, then Mr. Simonson led us to the body. And uh, as a result of that, you know, we went forward. But we're, we're very grateful to the state police and the detectives in our office and the DA's office. We all work together very closely. So we're, we're very, very happy with today's plea. And again, it's a mandatory life sentence. And what does this do for the other, the co-defendant, do you know what I mean? Well, that case is still open and there's a gag order by the judge, so we, we can't really speak about the other case at this point. Does the family feel any closure? They, they, are, they were in agreement with this. They stated that on the record. Uh, we spoke with them at length prior to taking the plea, and uh, they, they, are, they are very, very satisfied that this happened because it is a life sentence. But of course, nothing, as they said, nothing can bring Donnie back. and. Uh, you know, their, their hearts are broken. Jackie, was the plea deal in the works for some time, or was that just something that just happened I really happened can't today? talk about the negotiations, but everything came together today during the motions hearing. Okay, if I heard you correctly, um, he's not going to be testifying against Elvis? He does not want to testify against his co-defendant, uh, and at this point we're satisfied with that because we feel that we have enough evidence to go forward. But again, it's a life sentence without the possibility of parole. So it would be very difficult to turn that down. When's the next hearing for the co-defendant? Coming back Friday at 9.30, and the trial is scheduled for September 10th. Jackie, as a prosecutor, and knowing that uh, all the, the hours that were put into this case with the, the folks standing behind you, um, what does it do for you knowing that, in, in some terms, this is the best closure that can happen? Again, it, well, it's, it's a good feeling to know, as far as the legal system, that He's going to be spending the rest of his life in jail. He took responsibility. His attorney spoke on his behalf and said that he's very sorry for what occurred. He's very sorry for what he did to Mr. Skiff. So it, that that helps us a great deal uh, in knowing that there is remorse. On a human side, um, again, I, I feel heartbroken for the family, and uh, I can't help internalizing their feelings as well. It's it just it's terrible. But we are satisfied with what happened today, and we think it was a good result. Dave mentioned uh, in court this was a heinous act, uh, uh, unnecessarily heinous and violent. Um, just characterize for us th th this crime, the, the totality of everything that happened, from the kidnapping I, I think, to the killing. again, this is in regard to Mr. Simonson, because I cannot speak about the other case or the other defendant. But I think the fact that uh, it was a random act, and there was no evidence that Mr. Simonson knew Donald Skiff, and we believe that he probably was just giving him a ride, and uh, that, and it went from there, and he was beaten, and the fact that he was missing for so long, that was tearing apart the family, so um, when he agreed to show us where the body was, uh, they were, you know, they were so happy to do that because there was closure in that regard, that they knew what happened to him. And as far as the other case, I know you can't really speak, but trial date's still the same. Trial date is September 10th, yes. Jackie, if, if Simonson didn't show state police where the body was, would you be seeking for, for um, the death penalty for him? Yes, that was an agreement that we made, that if we did not seek the death penalty against Mr. Simonson, that he would show us where the body was, and that was something that, that, that was so important to the family, because if he didn't do that, we might have never found him. He was in a secluded, wooded area off Susskind Road, and today they may still be wondering whether or not he was alive or dead, and now they know it was a horrible ending to his life, but at least they know that he's at peace.